All right, so this is Green Mountain. Um, this is something that just popped up on my Twitter feed. Uh, apparently, this is a ROM hack or a fan game that just kind of dropped out of the blue. And from what I read, I'm getting impressions of the Mario ROM hack, the or Coronation Day, since that kind of just like dropped randomly. This kind of has a similar kind of feel to that. So I have no idea what's going on here, but I figured I'd, I'd give it a try. And my controller is working with this, that's good, so I can jump. And I can't seem to spin there. I guess this is running off like Sonic Wand controls. This looks like Green Hill Zone. Yeah, the normal Green Hill Zone. Everything's all like washed out color wise and the music's creepy. I don't know if it's supposed to be like Oh. Um I don't know if the music's supposed to be like a butchered Green Hill Zone theme or whatnot. But let's see what's going on here. So far things are I wouldn't say normal. But not much is happening right now. I think this came out a few days ago, or like, I uh, saw so the post was on the 12th of January. And then all the description just said to climb the Green Mountain Trail. So I guess that's what we're gonna do. Oh. I went a bit too far. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out if this is, like, made in a different engine, or if this is just, like, a... an emulation that is being used, disguised as an application. Because this isn't a ROM of Sonic 1 or anything like that, running an emulator. This was just straight up an application file that you could just run. I guess I kind of want to... Take my time in case that happens. Okay, there we go. Um. Oh, that's a bit of a spooky face there. Uh, where do I go from here? Oh, okay, I can get up that way. Oh, okay. Do the bit of that clipping in. I feel like these sprites are edited. They look a bit creepier than normal Sonic 1 sprites. Oh, careful. Oof. <laughs> Don't want to just fall off right there. Oh, the colour texture is kind of hurting my eyes a little bit here, I'll be honest. Why am I getting like a weird only up but Sonic vibe right now? Okay, that's a big jump. Nothing I can't handle though. Uh, now what? Oh, okay. Bit of a leap of faith right there. Okay, I'm just trying to take it easy a bit, just so I don't lose myself. Because I don't want to fall and then do this all over again. Oh. Oh, okay, you just, whoa, stay back, you weird, no-faced Sonic. Am I supposed to get, like, taken by him? Okay, it's like a regular Sonic fight right now, I guess. Oh, 
Or maybe roll into him? Yeah, let's sort of, sort of rolling into him get some. I got him. Nice. Oh. Turn into sludge. Is that it? Oh. Uh oh. It looked like my face melted or something for a second and everything's just kind of going dark. Oh, I'm jumping like the weird shadowy, like, no face Sonic was jumping. Uh, I turned into it. And I can't move. Hmm. I get very Coronation Day impressions from this. This seems like the Sonic version of Coronation Day, which is a Mario creepypasta hack where you had to kind of dig into the game to find out what was going on. Let's see, so looking on... The Sonic Fan Games HQ page. There is. People have found an image and something that kind of gives away some details. Not sure what this image is about. But here is a string of sprites, and there's what a. There's quite a few interesting prompts in here. Let's see, why not? We left it in the car. No, not really. Sprite and push, you will get this sooner than later. Returnal. And walk. Why? Have you talked to her? And jump. Sonic transform. Run a car again. Blah, 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 blah. Two, three, four, five, six, Jared. We've been checking it with some route for over. Came over time, we are here. Green Man is not far. Couldn't you do it now? It's in the park. It's in the pack. Six, seven, eight, nine, one. Okay. So, like, mixed in with these sprites is a conversation between two people. Alright, I've kind of been digging around for a bit, but I think I'm going to leave it there. Um,. I'm not particularly the person that spends ages fully digging into stuff like this, but this is definitely something that was inspired by Coronation Day, and there's definitely more under the surface that people need to find out. Um, from what I did hear and read, it's looking like the story behind this is about 
a couple people burying a body at Green Mountain. That's all we seem to know. There could be more, and there's an image that it's hard to really make out what is the details, but I thought this was cool. Um, I prefer stuff like this. I really liked Coronation Day and this, because those two, these two kind of horror hacks, and I guess this is more of a fan game more than a hack, um, they have no jump scares in them, or like just out of nowhere spooks. They're kind of just like off from the the offset, and they just work, and that's what I like about those. But yeah, so that was Green Mountain. It was interesting, and yeah, I'll uh, catch you all next time for stuff. Yeah.